Jack here. Um, this is our first ever tech talk and we're going to start with the Datsun 240Z. So I'm going to talk you through batteries and motors and all that kind of thing. So we're going to come in and have a look at the engine bay and we'll start with that. So here it is, the 600 volt beast. Um, so starting with the batteries, we have a yeah, 600 volt battery pack here. Uh, we've got a row of 300 volts there and 300 volts there, seried up to make 600 volts. Uh, these are actually they're LG Chem modules and they are um, 60 volts each. Um, so inside the battery box here, we've got a high voltage junction box kind of built in. So we've got fuses, we've got the shunt, we've got rapid charging contactors and everything else all contained in one box. Uh, the front here, we've got the 6.6 uh, the .6 kilowatt charger, which is mounted at the front, liquid cooled. And then moving to the rear, we have the drive unit here, which is out of a Lexus GS450H, which is mounted in the transmission tunnel. And the best thing about this motor is it's, the weight is nice and low down. It's in the center of the car, and it gives us plenty of space for batteries up the front, which is brilliant. Um, uh, Brake-wise, we've got a Tesla Model S electronic brake booster here which is a fantastic bit of kit. Um, obviously with not having the engine anymore, we don't, have the, uh, we don't have the vacuum to run a traditional servo. So we've had to move to electronic. It's, it's silent and it really, really works well. All the 12 volt system in this car is custom. We've made a complete loom from scratch. Um, but the yeah, so we've got, you know, all this 12 volt stuff is fairly standard, but we've made a, our own loom from scratch for that. We have a brake bias valve here. So we can control the front to rear braking because this thing is, is really fast, so it needs to stop. Um, and we've also got four pot brakes on the front and upgraded disc brakes on the back. So we've looked at the engine bay and the top of the car, but now let's take a little look at underneath and see what's going on. So First impressions, you see it's very clean. So we did a nut and bolt restoration on, on this car. We had it on a spit and put new floors in it. Um, it was fairly solid, but we did yeah, a fair amount of welding and wrapped around the whole car. So it's very clean. Um, it's quite nice to work on actually. Um, and yes, so you can see, where do I start? So uh, cooling system here for the inverter and charger is tucked up on the uh, original subframe and the battery box is bolted onto the, above it, onto the subframe. Also, uh, we've got an oil cooler here for the, for the motor, which is bolted on the side of the battery box. The inverter for the drive unit is, we made a frame, so it's one, uh, one unit with the drive unit, so it all goes up as one assembly. Uh, this is a Toyota inverter, which, which runs the GS450H motor. Um, the, the motor itself, um, it's got two electric motors built into it. And in the original car, one was designed as a starter motor slash generator for the hybrid battery pack. But that motor now, uh, also doesn't need to do any starter motoring or much generating, so we're using it for traction power. So combining those two motors gives this thing a lot of punch to the rear wheel. So um, yeah, we've got it in the transition tunnel. We've got a custom CV style prop shaft under here which uh, we moved to CVs because uh, we couldn't get the angles perfect. So CVs are a bit, they kind of a bit, give you a bit more leeway in terms of uh, misalignment. So yeah, custom CV prop shaft with billet aluminium adapters. And we have a LS, recently fitted LSD from a Subaru. Um, so it's a, a torsion style LSD, I believe, which is, what you want with this sort of power. Um, we're doing wheel spins with just one wheel and no one wants that. Um, fairly stock rear end. We're about to upgrade the rear for discs uh, because it does stop well, but we just want it to stop even better. And then we've got another battery box in the rear where the fuel tank went, which keeps the weight distribution really nice. So it's a much, much better balanced car than it ever was. So yeah, we've got upgraded um, four pot Toyota big brakes here, they are really good actually with vented discs, uh, anti-roll bar. So the coolant loop for this, um, it runs through the inverter and also through the charger. We've got one loop but we haven't really noticed it getting very warm yet. Um, and this little guy here, this is an electronic oil pump. And without this oil pump, this whole drive unit would not work uh, in this application. So you need high pressure oil to feed all the clutch packs and 
um, all, the, all the gear reduction going on inside the gearbox. Because uh, there's a, also a gear reduction built into this drive unit. So it gives you the right RPMs out of the, out of the output shaft. So this oil pump, it, in the original application, it would kick on when the engine cut out. But we're running it continuously now because also we need the hydraulic pressure and it seems to be working really, really well. So this is our first short, brief tech talk video. Um, this car isn't actually finished yet, but we'll probably do another video on it with a bit more detail um, after we've done more testing, but thanks for watching.